Things be the TV, ladies and gentlemen. May I tell you, say, come like there's no ending to this, you know. The witness decides, a boy, I'm tell you everything. This witness is spilling his guts, not just one, but the two main witnesses. Them, you know, we're talking about the driver, the accountant. Saying this man, I tell somebody that thing right now, may I tell you, say, right now, black man don't even want to hear what this man is saying. You know? If black man could have bring down lightning and thunder and strike a witness, them. In a quote, in a do it today. I tell you, say, man, can't believe say, a deal like this coming up. When you witness them attack up so much things, boy, I tell you, say, hear what they must say now. Witness feared cops had case against him before he turned on the gang, you know. So the witness did fear, say, boy, the police, them have whole documents for him and bag of sitting, you know. But when I talk in a quote, you know, he must say, and I really that push him to give up some information and sink the gang, you know. Saying, and put black man on his knee right and now a big and a ball. And that make him do it still you now. He must say that when he hear a conversation with the gang and they plan to kill a female police officer. The man said, no sir, this a take this a gone from bad to worse now. And so the man decided say, no man, I not tolerate this no longer. Because the man hear so many things, man. And this a one that piss him off. And he must say, boy, right away. Him decide say no sir, this gang a take it too far car. Them a plot, them a scheme for kill off the police them, and this a particular police officer, female officer, them a plot for killing you know? her, because the woman get them arrested you know. Me I tell you no what go, we don't hear the whole thing still. Me not hold back nothing, we don't hear the whole story because at this so the witness say no man. Them a man have the intention for mash up Jamaica flat on the ground. Not on my dead body, me not take this no longer. I hear what they must say now. The prosecution first star witness disclosed on Tuesday that he had suspected that the police had a criminal case against him before he came forward with information on the one done gang, you know. Saying the witness had previously testified that he voluntarily went to the police station with information on the gang because he wanted to help Jamaica and to stop the gang killings. I got to talk to him at the time, man. I got in my head and knock on the door. And I said, listen now. Me still look good in you. You know, belong around black man them and him evil organization. Where you do your son? Man, come out of your organization and go to the police station. Go tell the police them what I go on here, man. You fool? Come out of this right now. And so said, God said that, you know. So said, so done. The man decides to go to the station right away, you know. If you are subscribe, you will go on again. He had further told the court that he was spurred into action after he reportedly heard members of the gang plotting to kill a police woman while they were in custody in a cell at the Supreme Court, claiming that the woman was responsible for their arrest. So, you see that? Not even police not saved from the wrath of black man. I tell you, black man remind me of fear, you know. You remember in the Bible when God tell fear, you say, yo, you know, you have got to change your ways, you know. And fear of hard me heart against God. All God that bring down all type of pestilence upon him. And locusts and all type of sitting fear decides him more hard me heart upon God. Matters a black man is worse than fear right now. But a serious level, you know. Saying, so they must say in the paper now say the former businessman had also insisted in court that no one had offered him anything in exchange for his statement on the gang's activity. He strongly denied suggestion from the defense attorney that his decision to testify was to save himself from prosecution. But when he returned before the Home Circuit Court on Tuesday to face cross-examination from Brian Morris lawyer Dennis Inser, 
The witness admitted that he had come to the conclusion that the police had a case against him when they had arrested him in June 2019 for being part of a criminal organization. Now explain something to you. This particular witness, you know, was at a place and time in his life where he come like say, boy, some things I got you in mind and he had to make a move, you know. In my opinion, he reached a crossroad where he had to make a move. He had to do something about what was going on, you know. Because he find out the boy might go deeper and deeper in a, this a criminal organization, you know. There's no turning back, viewers and subscribers. Hear what they must say now. The ex-gangster who was chiefly the personal driver for the reputed leader, Andrew Blackman Bryan, and the gang's banker further testify on a cross-examination that he had formed that view after he found himself among cronies who were detained after the police had released other members. You know, saying the witness during a cross-examination said that he and other alleged members of the gang had suspected that one of their own had been talking to the police. The man then figured out somebody attacking him. Because they want to owe oh, the police them. I pick them up off the street, so oh the police them I find them on the ends. Cause man them have some little ends, you know. The man them have some location and some information where you're not gonna find it out if you're on the outside. You have to be in at the inside. It must be an inside job. Somebody on the inside have to relay information to the police. For the police them to come and pick up them money, you know. See? And at that shot, the man, Mr. The man shocked till right now. Him frightened, man, him frightened. So these are part of the feelings when I go through him and say, hold well, on the man, something I go on here, so you know. Let me go to the station and go change my life car. It look like everything I tumble down, pa, I go tumble down pa, we are now, you know. It look like everything I go about for tumble down pa, and this a gang your car. It look like the police them get smart, you know, and I know what I go on. And I saw the man decide to go you know, sir. Me I take up myself from this a gang, you know. Me I break up my folly ground right you now. I'm going to report when I know to the police them because it looks like everything will turn upside down upon this gang I know. So the man decides to boy, I eat that. And in court, I hear what I'm saying in the paper now. When asked by Insu if he was aware that the other ex-members of the gang had gone to the police, he said he suspected that someone close to the organization had supplied the police with information but could not identify the source of the leak. Poor him never knows so about the pipe right leak, you know. He's about to save Jamaica, you know. And not even a plumber can bung up the pipe there, you know. See, because all my seat right now, to information then we are come out and we use at least 40 witnesses. I know they not testify yet, you know. The man, them just a focus on the big top man, them, I think. The main witnesses, them. 40 other people are there to be testified against black man. Who oh, no, you hear nothing yet, man? Some breed of information now come out, me I tell you, say, as some of the favorite artists, them and politicians, them right now, afraid. Because a whole heap more something now come out, ladies and gentlemen. Now, in quotation, they must say, no, everybody was surmising, but we never sure who it was. Them still, I guess, a whole man a leak, you know. Which party leak I come from? Which party pipe a leak? Never they know, say, one of the closest man to black man attack up the things, them, you know. Saying they must say now, Chief Justice Brian Sykes then interviewing, asking him why he thought that someone had gone to the police. You know, in quotation, here we must say now, due to how they come for me at my house, I think it was somebody who was close to the gang members because not everybody know about me and everybody start get locked up. So we surmise that someone was talking that knows us. Him right about that because as be telling us. You can't be on the outside and know certain things, you know. The man them have their thing lock off for a certain way. One thing we can tell about the one black man is a sneaky and scrupulous criminal boy, you know. Him not expose information like that, you know. You have to be on the inside, saying he's a man who do things strategically, you know. Saying that's why the man was so frightened because the man has said somebody must inside attack up the things them. Because all the police they know if you can't come pick them up like that. At that may I try to tell you. Seeing and according to the witness, when he was locked up, the police sought to interview him, but he declined, insisting that he first had to secure a lawyer. They think them are idiot. When the things that them criminal people are people with criminal intent and criminal mind. When they think them are fool, them not give up information like that, they must protect themselves. Because it seems like enough of them criminal, you know. 
them watch first 48 forensic file and them a watch a couple of them criminal mind movie there you know saying when you think them a idiot you were going to know however he said when he approached the police after he was released on bail he spoke to them willingly without a liar that's how when he's ready to tell them everything was going on in there. He didn't need a liar at that time. He just had spill him guts. You understand? Earlier during the cross-examination, Ainsa grilled the witness about whether he had communicated with other witnesses before giving his statement to the police or whether the police had shown him the other witness statement or had told him about its content. The liar tried to create mix-up and blender, you know, and it's a drama, you know. A drama this a liar who not create night quotes, but you now go work out still. Them are witnesses you have them thing lack, as me telling us, them are not idiot to the criminal, the criminal justice system, you know. These witnesses are not fooled to a criminal justice system, you're telling now, us. Now, the walk with me again, cause me I tell us it get sweeter and sweeter, man. Hear what them are said, but the former top tier gang member said that was not the case. He said that he had not spoken to his former crony since he was arrested and denied having his telephone number. However, despite the witness denial, similarities has been detected in their evidence. Both indicated that they did not go to the police at first because they did not trust law enforcers. Now, this go right back to the story we do today, you know. When we tell us, when black man tell us, you have to go in a gang or you're there in a gang, you can't come out. There's no turning back. Here where witnesses say, no. They have also both testified that they were forced into the gang by a black man and that they did his bidding out of fear that they would be killed. Additionally, the prosecution witness have also claimed that discrepancies between their statement and court testimony was linked to them offering more details the second time around. Ja, ja, may I tell you, say, up to now, I still can't believe that this day has come, you know, where bugger things media TV can witness this whole thing. I never know said this all coming at Jamaica. When we are going to witness a trial like this. This is a trial of the century, ladies and gentlemen. And I want you guys to support the platform. Now keep supporting I got things the media TV, man. Thank you for watching. Make sure you share it. Make sure you subscribe. Press that notification bell to stay updated, man. Jamaican assassin killing all names. Urban legend. Jackal. Out.